When I was in high school and beginning of college, my mom was appalled. My daughter's doing bedpans. I can't believe she's a nurse. But then a couple years ago, when she saw me in action, she admitted, Sally, you are a really exceptional nurse. And she realized 100% this is where I belong. I'm the nurse educator here at Dime Medical, and I've been here for about four years now. And I got my start, uh, graduated from nursing school in 1991. So that means I have more than 30 years of experience and 16 years of experience as a nurse educator. I was a junior in high school and our boyfriend, who was an orderly slash nursing assistant at the local nursing home. And he said, Sally, let's go pick up my paycheck and I'll take you to lunch. I'm like, of course, sounds great. I mean, hey, I'm not going to turn down free lunch. So I followed him into the nursing home and he disappeared down the hallway to the nurse's station to go get his paycheck. And I'm standing in the hallway talking to this little resident who comes up to me and her name was Franny. The director of nurses walked by and offered me a job on the spot. She's like, you want to work here? And I had a perfectly good job at Wendy's flipping hamburgers. I'm like, okay, I could go work with my boyfriend. And as I started working there, the plans for me to become an engineer faded away. And I realized that nursing is where I 100% belonged. Rather than teaching a group of students how to perform a specific skill or understand the nursing process, or understand a specific disease and how it affects somebody. Now I'm actually teaching educators. I get to collaborate with instructors from respiratory therapy, from nursing assistant programs, physical therapy, rehab, all these different specialties. And I get to use the knowledge that I've gotten over the last few years, knowing about all our products. And I get to help them find just the right products that not only meet their budget, but more importantly, are gonna meet the learning needs of their students so that that way they can turn out the most amazing healthcare professionals. Very proudest project is working on that postpartum hemorrhage cart. The hemorrhage cart started when I was talking to OB instructors who were telling me about their difficulties finding all the supplies they needed for this particular simulation. So I realized, okay, I'm not an OB nurse, but I know where to find all the information. So I started researching what hospitals included in their postpartum carts. And I also started doing all the research about best practices. And then what I did is I took those supplies that they mentioned and organized them into the cart. And then I had to source all, all the supplies from all the different vendors to get all of them put together in the cart at a reasonable price. If even one mom survives a postpartum hemorrhage because of that cart, I'm, all my work here is totally worth it. The mission and vision of Dime Medical is to improve the quality of healthcare. And I'm starting at the beginning when the students are training to enter their professional roles. So if we start improving the education, then we wind up improving the quality of healthcare after they graduate. The more opportunities we give them to think during simulation, the better they're gonna be after graduation. So that is how I'm working to improve the quality of healthcare. The mock code has to be the favorite. Patients are getting sicker and sicker, so we're not just seeing codes in ICU anymore. We're seeing them on med surge units. So I created this very basic mock code and the students took turns in all the roles. And a number of students came to me afterwards and said, Sally, my patient coded the other day when I was in med surge or I was in clinical. And you know what? I knew exactly what they were gonna do. And it was so rewarding. So the mock code for me is my A number one favorite. 
One thing that students and healthcare professionals need to understand when they're going into this is that just because you're not in uniform or you're not on the clock, you are still a nurse. It doesn't matter if you're on vacation, if you're at the pool, if you're at a wedding, if something happens, you're gonna be putting on your invisible nursing hat and helping out. You're gonna hear the, is there a medical professional on board? And you just have this inner drive that says, I'm here, what do you need? It just becomes reflexive. You don't even think about it. And so if you're gonna go into nursing, you have to do it with the understanding that you are always a nurse. Doesn't matter if you're in uniform or in your flip-flops.